All right, everybody, you listen up. Nobody getting in. It's ladies' night here at the tranny club. So you either tuck or you get the out. I said it's ladies' night. You recognize? Hey, what is going on, GTA fans? This is the Cobra coming at you from Drum Brothers Gaming. We are excited to let you know, Don't if you're back. listening to this, that a new update is coming. Patch 1.12 will be out soon, hopefully next week from what they say. And get ready for lots of exciting Grand Theft Online stuff. So what we got here is there's going to be a capture creator coming next week. The creator community will be able to make their own original customized capture jobs. Adding to over the 3.4 million player created death matches and races currently available on Social Club. Strategically placed pickups to find weaponry, set locations, and tweak it. Tons of other variables to make your own unique capture job for others to take on. Rockstar will be reviewing all the homemade capture creations to stamp standout experiences as Rockstar verified. Now, this isn't the biggest thing that you want. This is the biggest thing, the High Life Update. The High Life Update will allow you to expand your foothold in Los Santos with new high-end apartment options, the powerful bullet rifle, new wardrobe items, the Dinka Thrust motorcycle, and three new lavish cars to pick from, including the high-class Pegasi uh, Zatorno and a couple others. You'll be also able to own two district properties with garages simultaneously. That's huge. A lot of people really want two garages because they have all these cars that they want stored. So all this plus the new mental state player statistic, which is designed to let you see how passive or psychotically unhinged fellow players are in your session and a slew of new jobs. And not only that, but they say that heists are coming. Whether or not I believe it, that's one thing. Heist coming this spring to Grand Theft Auto Online. It doesn't say that it's coming in this next update. It just says coming this spring to Grand Theft Auto Online. Team up with your most trusted crew members or other random players uh, to pull off cooperative heist missions for glory and profit. You know many of the GTA Online community have been looking forward to this update, so stay tuned for more information. And later this year, look out for even more Grand Theft Auto Online updates, including more holiday-themed updates, some very exciting story mode DLC, and much more. They're also doing some more refining. Uh, ever since the launch of GTA Online, the community monitoring has been a community game, as well as the player feedback sent to us. Uh, to address to see what they're liking, disliking, and addressing. The most recent update addressed an issue that we saw with the way motorcycles and bikes handle while in the air. As it turned out, many of the members of the GTA stunning community were disappointed to discover that this fix made pulling off certain popular bike tricks and stunts virtually impossible. So, what Rockstar is going to do, they're going to be restoring the original in-air motorcycle bike physics in an upcoming title update. In general, they're keeping things unintended glitches in the play game uh, they're looking to close those make sure that uh, you know those money glitches and car dupes are getting out because it definitely impacts the gameplay in a fair way so they're gonna be taking those back so stunts will be back look for that in addition no contact option for races will be this will allow players to play standard races and collision disabled between player vehicles so you won't be able to run into other players other players will appear as semi-transparent. You'll still be able to collide with non-player traffic. So basically, if you want those douchebags that are keeping you from racing and getting to the finish line, this will solve that problem. Uh, players will also still be will able to call Lester and have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime you may or may not be committing for a short period of time. This is also option. awesome because right now the police are fucking stupid. I mean, how dumb is it that you shoot a gun in the middle of the desert and cops come? It's fucking ridiculous. So hopefully they fix that. As a reward also for players who leave feedback on jobs, there will be some bonus RP granted every time a player likes or dislikes content for playing it. GTA money payouts will be increased for completing parachutes, races, deathmatch, and LTS jobs with less than four players. As part of the ongoing commitment, Rockstar is targeting cheaters to keep the game as fair as possible. They're closing RPX points and adjusting the RP totals of players who we know for certain to have gained illegitimate RP by cheating. Your RP will only be adjusted if participated in mods, hacks, DNS redirects, manipulation of cloud fires, or other similarly nefarious behavior. So all you people who are level 500, f*** you. You're going to be f***ing 
back down with the rest of us who aren't cheating. So take that, you bitches. They'll also be fixing issues where players who had upgraded personal vehicles prior to title update 1.10 were able, only able to sell them for $10. These are just a few of the ongoing tweaks and enhancements in the works, and as mentioned above, they're also interested in hearing what that you want to see, so hit them up, let Rockstar know what you like in the world of Grand Theft Auto Online, and we'll see you around for the next update. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll get more likes and updates and whatever, and I'm also pimping out people as much as possible. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening, and we'll hit you around the corner.